Hello, I'm Dave Doyle, and welcome to GeoLearn, Fundamentals of Geodesy, Vertical Datums, and Geoid Models, Part 2. Uh, in this uh, segment, we are going to investigate uh, the different types of heights and the geodetic datums of the United States, primarily the National Geodetic Vertical Datum of 1929 and the North American Vertical Datum of 1988, and uh, the geoid models that are trying their best to relate to that. So we're going to go through the history of the, the vertical datums, how we've gotten to where we are, what we currently have, and a little bit later we'll touch on you know, where we're going in the future. So let's start off by just understanding the different types of datums. Uh, there are really two fundamental types of datums, vertical datums. A tidal datum, which collects information at the shoreline, at a tide gauge, uh, looking at the, at the variations in the tides over time, typically a 19-year cycle, referred to as the metonic cycle. And from that series of observations, um, you produce the various local tidal datums mean low or low water, mean high water, or the one that's most commonly re referenced by people, mean sea level. Um, the geodetic datum, the geodetic vertical datum now, is an attempt to have a consistent set of heights over a larger piece of geography. Uh, so if I live on a small island, a tidal datum and a geodetic datum could in fact be the same. You can adopt mean sea level as the definition of the geodetic datum for a small island or, or an island, even a larger one, sort of like the island of Puerto Rico, which is Puerto Rico vertical datum of 2002 is, a, is, t is defined as mean sea level, uh, at least at one point it is. But a geodetic datum, the concept is to relate it to the uh, tidal datums because ultimately we want all of our heights to be somehow related uh, to tidal datums because that's where all the water is going to go. The water is going to go to the oceans, it's going to go to the gulf. So we want our geodetic datums from which we're building all of our national infrastructure to be consistent with where water is ultimately going to go. So it's important to understand the distinction between these two. Uh, we discussed the issue of tidal datums in the previous class, so if you're interested in that, you can, you can go and take a look at, the, at that class. Uh, this one, we're going to talk more about the geodetic side of it. Uh, and it's important to understand the types of heights. Uh, I, I wish I could tell you how many times I've been in conversations with people, typically not surveyors, uh, but others who think, well, it isn't a height a height? And no, it's not. There are many different types of heights, and we're just going to investigate three, and I, from my, my perspective, the three most important. There are certainly other types of heights, such as dynamic heights, but they're used much less often, and so we're not going to take the time in this particular class to, to investigate or talk about dynamic heights. We're going to limit our discussion to orthometric heights, which are the heights that are representative of the North American vertical datum of 1988 and the associated uh, uh, datums in, in the island areas, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, Hawaii, uh, American Samoa, Guam, that, we, that the uh, National Geodetic Survey has responsibility for. Orthometric heights, uh, the distance as it says between the geoid and that point on the Earth's surface, so it, it, it's dealing uh, with, the earth, with the Earth's gravity field, and that's an important aspect of this. We want water obviously flows with respect to um, the uh, potential of gravity, and orthometric heights are an attempt, an attempt to try and model um, those, those relationships. And, and orthometric heights are, in fact, can be determined quite accurately, uh, down to as little as a tenth of a millimeter if you're willing to perform uh, the high accuracy geodetic leveling that's associated with it. So in, in the vast majority of cases when people are demanding the highest level of height information, you're almost exclusively left with performing geodetic leveling. 